One of my favourite Van Damme movies has always been Hard Target. I was lucky enough to uh, sneak into the cinema when this one was out because I was underage and uh, I just kind of loved Van Damme so I wanted to see it. This uh, directed by John Woo movie that was released in 1993 has two terrific bad guys in the form of Arnold Vosloo and Lance Henriksen. Two guys who run this hunting camp in New Orleans. But what they hunt is ex-vets who are homeless on the street and needing money. They hire out uh, this big game to people who have more money than sense to come and hunt human beings because they're the most exciting prey. Enter uh, Yancey Butler's character who's come to find her father who has died. It's been one of uh, their prey and she enlists the help of Chance Bedreau, played by Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is a down-in-his-luck sailor who is struggling to get back on his feet. Um, but he takes her a, a little job for her to help her shore the ropes when people come after her. She has to, He has to defend, fight off the bad guys, and it's just wonderful. It's, it's wonderful in so many ways. You get some Terrific bad guys, which is always wonderful. You get lots of wooisms already with birds fluttering in slow motion, lots of slow motion, and lots of kick ass action scenes. Plenty in this one that are really kind of interesting and different. We get varied locations as well, which I think really adds to the movie as well. The thing about uh, martial arts movies is sometimes they can become a little bit repetitive. But this one shakes it up nicely. We get New Orleans. We get to see a couple of the hunts of the bad guys. We get to see Lance Henriksen just being such a badass again. This guy is just wonderful. I really do love Lance Henriksen, especially when he's just chewing up the scenery like he's doing here. This has got a, a terrific fight scene uh, within New Orleans with uh, Van Damme fighting people on motorbikes which leads to a wonderful motorbike chase um, and a terrific stunt of him standing on a bike rolling over a pickup truck and then it making it explode but I think, I think the movie really excels once we get to the bayou once we go to Chance's hometown uh, the, his stomping ground and he has the people where he wants them he can really take advantage of that and it becomes just super cheesy and fun and we know we're into something a little bit different when he knocks out a snake, uh, biting the rattle off the back of it uh, and setting up a trap to, to catch and kill somebody in a really brutal manner. Watching these people stumble about uh, his uh, land and be taken off is wonderful and you get this wonderfully set up finale within a kind of storage warehouse for an old fairground. So you've got all these rides and kind of big shaped heads and, and kind of clown colours but faded a little bit. And it just offers something really wacky and different. I think Hard Target is one of my favourite Van Damme movies. I love the character of, of Chance Boudreau. I love the relationship that he picks up. I love that we get not one great actor as the bad guy but two there's a kind of sleazy nature about this movie as well. It's directed really well by John Woo, who knows what he's doing with an action movie. And he just takes us by the hand and shows us some wonderful action set pieces. Like I said, lots of Wooisms. We get the fluttering birds. We get the, the people on the opposite side of a wall talking to each other before turning and shooting. I think he did that in a further two movies, three movies. Um, and his career through this one, or more even. Um, lots of fun stuff like that. And Hard Target is just immensely fun. I need a jam-packed Blu-ray for this one so I can add it to my Van Damme collection. I hope you've seen Hard Target. It's one of the better Van Dams, still holding up today, still having terrific action and highly recommended. I'd love to know your thoughts in Hard Target. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time. The man we film.